All right, so we're doing both for this one as well. Let's find uh, the first one, f of g. So like instead of just even saying that. So this is okay. I'm okay looking at it like no. this. No, no, this would not be the answer, right? Because at this point, I need to replace this x with what I have there in red, which is what g of x was, and that's 3x plus 1. I mean, we can put that in parentheses, but in this case, it's not really going to help us. If there was a coefficient of that, then we would be worried about it. So f of, again, this is g of x, equals, I still got that 3x, but 1 plus 10, it's going to make that 11. So this is one of our answers. So g of f of x, so f of x, which is x plus 10, <clears throat> should equal 3x plus 1. But again, we're replacing the x with what it is, and that's x plus 10, or f of x. So finally, for this one, g of f of x, we can distribute the 3. That gives us 3x plus 30 plus 1, which would be 3x plus 31. And that would be the second one.